Welcome to Curie Electronics. Our today's topic is how to find equivalent resistance of a given resistor network. This is the part one. So please subscribe and like the videos so that I'll upload more videos for you. So now let's start. Now what, what is a series circuit? What is a series circuit? Series. How, how the resistors are connected in series? Resistors are connected in series. End to end connection. Otherwise a series circuit will have same current current. In the series circuit, same current will flow and the voltage will be distributed between the, these two resistors. So if this is R1 and this is R2, the total resistance RT, RT equals R1 plus R2. Now if two resistors are connected in parallel, now, the, now it is parallel connection. If two resistors R1, this is R1 and R2 are connected in parallel. In a parallel circuit, voltage is same. That is, this will be for this is zero volt, this will be at V. The current will be different. There will be two currents here. Current will be different, voltage will be same. So in this circuit RT that is power total resistance 1 by RT equals 1 by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. It, when you simplify it you will get it RT equal to R1 plus R2 sorry R1 multiplied by R2 so it's a R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 now if two resistors of same value 1 2 or 3 resistors of the same value are connected in parallel what happens if these are connected in parallel this points let be the nodes be A and B and this all resistor R equal to X R equal to R equals X R equal to X X is the resistance value then what is the resistance between A and B RT will be equal to whatever the resistor value that is X or number of resistors that is 3 so this way we can find out the resistor values in series and parallel combination now we will start solving the solve the problems it's a very simple problem the first one two resistors are connected this is r1 and r2 both are connected in series we have to find the resistance across a and b points a and b so what is the total resistance rt equals r1 plus r2 which equal to 10 plus 5 that is 15 ohms so 15 ohm if these two resistors are connected in parallel what happens so r2 is given by rt equal to r1 multiplied by r2 divided by r1 plus r2 which equals R1, R1 multiplied by R2, 10 multiplied by 5 divided by R1 is 10 ohm plus 5 ohm 15. That is 50 divided by 15. If we simplify it, 10 divided by 3 ohm. 10 divided by 3 ohm. No. Now this circuit we have to simplify it. We have to simplify the circuit and find what is the what is the resistance 
between the points A and B. If we simply if we see, so we want the resistance from A and B. So we are looking from here. We are looking from here to the circuit, and so we start from the start following the resistance from the other end. So if we if you see these two resistors are in series 4 ohm and 4 ohm so this can be simplified as this is 4 ohm parallel 4 ohm and 4 ohm series 4 ohm and 4 ohm series 4 ohm 4 ohm series so this will become 8 ohm so we'll draw it 8 ohm now so 8 ohm 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm 8 ohm then we have so here we have a 4 ohm resistor 4 ohm resistor and here we have one more 4 ohm resistor 4 ohm resistor and here we have 12 ohm resistor 12 ohm resistor now 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm the both that is same value 8 ohm parallel 8 ohm parallel with 8 ohm what it gives 8 ohm 8 ohm resistor values are same so it is just 8 divided by 2 2, uh, 2 is the number of resistors that is 2 so 4 ohm will get so our circuit again gets simplified to is a 4 ohm resistor and these two ends are connected to another two more resistors that is 4 ohm 4 ohm the 4 ohm 4 ohm and this is 12 ohm now what is our, these are the our a and b points a and b a and b points now this 4 ohm plus 4 ohm 8 ohm 8 ohm plus 4 ohm 12 ohm 12 ohm in parallel with 12 ohm that is the answer 12 ohm parallel with 12 ohm 12 ohm so the answer is are across a, a and b across a and b so it is r a b equal to 6 ohm that is the answer okay we will see the next question next question uh, so these points we will mark uh, so here this, this is the next question so here jumpers are used to short the points Okay, this is a jumper. This is also another jumper. Now, this is A. I will take it as C. Take it as D. And this is B. Now, if I see this A and D are at the same point. That is, if I draw something like this. This is my A point. And this is the D point. Similar way, C and B are at same points. There's a shorter points C and B are at same points. See C is C is shorted with B. Okay, that's why I just made short. Now where this first resistor, this is let us take it as R1, R2, R3. Where R1 is connected? R1 is connected between A and C. So this is R1 is connected between A and C. That is 6 ohm is connected R1. This is the R1. Where is R2 is connected? R2 is connected between C and B. Between C and R2. R2 where it is connected? Between C and D. R, R2 is connected between C and D. So this is the R2. This is 6 ohm and R2 resistor. Uh, then R3 where it is connected, it is connected to D and B, D and B. See now if we see, we can understand all these resistors are in parallel R3. Now 
three six ohm resistors are connected in parallel all the resistors have the same value that is six ohm then rt equal to six divided by three that is equal to two ohm so the answer is two ohm this is a simple question but you should be able to identify now uh, this question is a wheelstone bridge so this is a wheelstone bridge uh, whenever you get a wheelstone bridge question you have to multiply these opposite sides it is like this these two resistor values and these two resistor values you have to multiply and see whether they are equal or not that is 3 3 multiplied by 8 equal to 24 and you have to see whether you multiply the other two opposite resistors do you get the same that is 6 multiplied by 4 6 fours are 24 so you are getting that that means this is the balanced balanced based on bridge in a balanced based on bridge there is no current flow here there is no current flow so this can be removed so the, we can rewrite the circuit as in a based on balanced bridge there is no current flow through the through this resistor so that can be removed from the circuit so now i can redraw the circuit like this so these two ends are open because it's a balanced bridge we stone bridge now we want the resistance between these two points that is our a and b a and b points are these two so what is this value 3 ohm 4 ohm 6 ohm and 8 ohm now these two uh, these two are in series now if this 4 and if this 4 this 4 ohm uh, this 4 ohm and this 3 ohm and 8 in series 4 ohm are in series and similarly these two are in series now we'll add if we add we'll get see these two are in series 3 and 4 ohm which is in parallel with another two resistors this is our a and b a and b uh, this is what's the value of this this is 6 ohm and then this is 8 ohm if you add this we will get 7 ohm in parallel with 14 ohm 14 ohm 14 ohm this is the a and b points so rt equals what is rt total resistance between a and b 7 multiplied by 14 divided by 21 sum sum of these 14 and 17 okay so if we multiply this uh, divide this three times this will be two times so 14 divided by 3 we will get 14 divided by 3 ohms 7 multiplied by 14 divided by 21 we simplify we will get 14 by 3 3 ohm and now okay uh, this is the next question so these three resistors are this 6 ohm 8 ohm and 10 ohm are in series so we want the resistance we are looking from the resistance resistance of the circuit from here this here we are looking from here so you will start from the other end so 10 ohm 8 ohm and 6 ohm are in series so what is 6 plus 8 14 24 so 24 ohm is a 24 ohm that is in parallel with in parallel with that is in parallel with 24 ohm that is in parallel with 24 ohm that is in parallel with 5 ohm 5 ohm on the remaining circuit uh, then we have 
4 ohm then we have 4 ohms uh, here 12 ohms 4 ohm 12 ohms then there is a 3 ohm 3 ohm resistor that is 3 ohm then here 1 2 ohm other end there is a 14 ohm resistor 14 ohm 14 ohm so now if you simplify uh, what is the 4 5 in uh, this one these two when these two parallel what is the value we are getting 5 parallel with 24 5 multiplied by 24 divided by 24 plus 5 which is equal to 29 29 it comes to 4.13 so 4.13 ohm 4.13 ohm in series with 4 ohm in series with 4 ohm and 12 ohm into 4 ohm and 12 ohm and there is one parallel resistor to it that is a 3 ohm this is 3 ohm then again our two more resistors that is 2 ohm and 14 ohm 2 ohm and 14 ohm now if we simplify 8 plus 12 16 20.13 ohm 20.13 ohm so the circuit 20 point 1 3 ohm in parallel with 3 ohms in parallel with 3 ohms and there is one resistor at this end that is 2 ohm the other end there is one more resistor that is 14 ohm now if you simplify 20.13 20.13 multiplied by 20.13 multiplied by 3 and so divided by 23.13 23.13 we get 2.6 ohm process 2.6 so now this 2.6 2.6 ohm in series with in series with 2 ohm and 14 ohm so these three are in series so the answer will be rt equals 2 plus 2.6 4.6 plus 14 that is 18.6 ohm so for this equivalent network rt if we look from here if you look from the circuit from this point that will be the resistance will be 18.6 ohms so we'll try to solve one more question today this is a part one all of you please like and subscribe the channel and share with your friends now this is see this is a form of Wheatstone bridge. The Wheatstone bridge can be drawn like this also. And if you if you look at these two ratio, if you look at these two ratio, these two resistors and these two resistor ratio, it is equal. That is equal. So this is a form of Wheatstone bridge. Now how I will draw? I will try to draw it. I uh, will try to draw it in a Wheatstone Wheatstone form. It is a balanced bridge because the ratio, the similar way if you multiply this sum and this sum, we will get four. We will get sixteen. If this is a visual form bridge blind you can draw it the broad circuit and substitute the values four ohm four ohm 
4 ohm 4 ohm 2 ohm 8 ohm because when i multiply i should get equal values i already know the this thing and here is the 10 ohm resistor and this is the 10 ohm resistor now if you multiply these two values you will get 16 this also 16 so it is a balanced based on bridge so for a balanced based on bridge for a balanced based on bridge we can remove this uh, this resistor so it is open so what is the what is the resistor value here 4 ohm and this is 8 ohm this is 2 ohm and this is 4 ohm now now this is what the resistance we have to find between a and d now if i simplify these two similar way whatever the previous problem we have done the similar way so here also one more parallel resistor we will get it will simplify it as like this so a and d see these two 4 and 8 are in parallel that is 12 ohm here 2 and 4 are in no sorry 4 and 8 are in series so it becomes 12 ohm uh, next 2 and 4 are in series so it is 8 ohm so what is the rt rt equal to 12 multiplied by 8 divided by 12 plus 8 that is 12 8 sir I am using the calculator 96 96 divided by 20 that is 44.8 ohms and this is correct okay so here we will stop the first part here the next part I will start with one more similar question one more similar kind of question I will try to explain you in a better way it can be explained I think it can be explained in a better way so I will start with similar question then we will see some more based on bridges balanced and unbal one more unbalanced which also we will see so friends I hope uh, all of you are fine and thanks for watching thank you